In the saddle. Gemma Lumsden is a regular at the Bree Riding Centre for the Disabled in Dundee. For the past six months, the 17-year-old, who has cerebral palsy, has been taking part in a study to see how horse riding can help children with the condition. I'm mainly focusing on spasticity in the lower limbs, so seeing if it can reduce the tone or not. So what I've done is I've used um, this pressure mat, which you can see here, um, which I've put on the saddle and it has loads of little pressure sensors on it and together as a whole it creates a pressure image so you can kind of see the pressure distribution over the course of a horse riding session as well as before and after the horse riding session. The final data is still being collated for the seven riders involved in the research but they're already reaping the benefits. Once I've been riding um, my legs are much more subtle um, I'm a lot Le um, more relaxed um, my muscles are genuinely a lot less tense which is good um, and I'm a lot more genuinely just flexible and um, manoeuvrable than like, I normally am when I'm in my chair Janie has taken a year out of her medical studies to carry out the work which she hopes will influence the treatments available to those with cerebral palsy A lot of medication that it's taking is to decrease the tone, to um, make them less tight. But with through the movement of the horse, um, that their tone will decrease anyway because their pelvis will be moving um, in different ways that will help the, the body relax. So um, you can get benefits that you would get from medication by going on a horse. So it's pretty cool. Ponies rather than pills could be just what the doctor ordered for patients like Gemma in years to come.